Hey guys, welcome to stage 3, episode 3 of how to make your own music. And in this stage, we're going to be looking at a uh, bass class. So this episode is going to be based on your bass classes and all that. And in the last lesson, we dealt with melodies, creation of melodies. And just a quick recap from that, we came up with this. And now we're gonna actually now develop even further with this and get ourselves into putting bass into this and giving it that, you know, that that tough, that hard part of it, the core part, what keeps it going and what glues it all together. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna create bass. Creating bass is actually a lot more complex than most people think, but it's actually as easier as easy as ever it, it's easy but also complex if you don't know what you're doing so first things first is listening to this i'm gonna take out the the, the melody of um this bell playing right there just to keep it um keep everything nice and sweet so i have that clear sound so i don't have one sound at the top. and now i'm gonna go to bass now fl studio comes with some basses already installed um as a vst you can go to what they call uh, a boo bass and it should be right here now boo bass is good it's a basic bass you know you can always uh like change it right here you know blow out the treble increase the bass Know, to give it that bass you feel and there's some older basses um in uh, fl studio for example you you can look into instrument bass you know there's different type of bass right here you got the acoustic bass right here now they go the classic 80s you know you got so many ones right there but what i'm gonna be yeah, like using today is um oh yeah you got this as well you got the guitar ones as well so what I'm going to be doing today is I have my own bass. Um, it's not the major, it's just a simple bass. Not too much. I'm going to use this. It's actually sounds Maybe not this one then. Yeah, more like this. I use this instead. So what I do is I delete this. And I also delete this. And I I'll get this in there. And I'll work with this one instead. So yeah, this is fuller. So the trick to doing the bass is you want to build it around your melodies. So that the different type of melodies in here, there's this melody, which brought out all the other melodies that we're using right now. And then this one. And then there's this one. So what I'll try to do is I'll go for the support in one, this one, because it already has that bassy feel and it, it goes with the entire thing. And I just copy it, right click, copy, then I'll paste it in here and I'll play with this. Immediately you can feel the effect, but what I want to do now is work with it a little bit more, see what I can do with it. And what I did now is it's currently in the D4 key, so it's very low. Now I'm going to shift it up an octave, which I'll just click down control and up button on your keyboard. Control, hold down control and the up arrow shifts it uh, all octave up. So, 
So now you have that bassy, more even bassy, I feel. I'm gonna just edit this, move it about. This is me playing around with it, see what I can come up with. You can see that I'm sticking with this key right here because those are the main key that I need to know about. And I build everything around that. So it's about knowing the core and then building stuff around it. Knowing the core, building stuff around it. Knowing the core, building stuff around it. So that's how we work in the music. And with doing that, you just come up with something totally different and very dynamic and unique. Just copy and paste it. So hold down shift, left click and drag. So I'm just gonna see if it works with this before I go too far. Playing around, finding something that works. So these parts are unexpected, so catch the keep my surprise, that's it. Just want to listen to the end, I'm not totally sure about it. Seems like it's going to work. And basically, let's listen to it now, the entire melody. Just start lowering the volume of the... And basically you can see the bass is very dynamic and beautiful you know stands out and it's different from everything else obviously now it's a lot of melodies going on right here to be honest it's not just one part it's a lot of melodies but what we do as we progress to the other lesson is to show you how all those different melody makes us have something very dynamic you understand so uh that's basically it on bass and um right now i'm just gonna listen to it a little bit more what else I can put in there? Yeah, 
I, I like that. I'm gonna leave that right there. And that's it on base. And what one other thing, one other thing I want to show you is vocals. FL has something called vocals, and these are the samples. Uh, uh, And I'm gonna find something that just I can put in there just to make it come a little more, on, come on. you know, spice. spice. I mean, uh, uh, right now I'm looking for something that I could fit in there. I'm just gonna click on a bunch of them and see what I can fit in. Smash hit. Okay, let's go. We need a beat. And we push it. We need a beat. And we push respect. Rock me, baby. So easy. So easy. Spin it again. That's right. Yeah. What time is it? You and me. So right now I don't find something that's gonna use. So I'm just gonna go into you know into my own sound box and I actually see. If I can find something right here. Oh. See how I write it. I might change it later on. Just put it in there, see what it sounds like. So quick, uh sample is different. Uh I see one. So what what happened guys is that the sample right is a little bit laggy behind. So what I did was I just shifted a little bit forward. Obviously this stretches the wave a bit, but you know what? what? Hey. Hey. Put this right there and basically that's it today for uh bass lesson guys so uh, just a quick recap of what we did so you put the bass in there you get a melody pick one of your melodies and fit it back into your bass and then work your bass around it or you can just play it easily you know from your keyboard find the bass and play it from your keyboard like freestyle either ways it works so, uh, this is what we have so far with the bass in it and everything together. Just gonna unsolo that. I'm gonna solo and then unsolo it again. So basically, guys, that's what we have for this lesson. And what we're gonna do is in the next lesson, we're gonna move into patterns and how we can make our work much more organized right now everything looks all over the place and it's not 
ever up to what we want it to be yet so it's a work in progress and in the next lesson i'll show you how to make it more organized and everything should work smoother and also save some computer power so guys i'll catch you in the next lesson uh see you in a bit